it's Marvel time! Hello and welcome to another video review. Today we're gonna have a look at the Malfax Wolverine from X-Men. This is something I've been waiting for for so long as a kid who grew up in the 90s. X-Men was one of the premier shows that I would watch every Saturday. And to finally get a high quality collector's figure from that line in the original Jim Lee design. If you're more into comics, that's fine. That's where it comes from. Jim Lee made it into the X-Men series. Finally, we got this and I cannot wait to have a look at it. So, let's go. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened here, guys. This figure stands at about 14 and a half centimeters to the top of his head. Let me get the right angle on that. Which means he goes up to five point, almost 5.6 inches tall. Uh, okay, so here, here's the first thing that everybody has pointed out. I don't... I'm not really that bothered by it, but just like I'm saying, a lot of people have pointed out, so I will do the same and then we can shut up about it. The lines on his body should be black and not blue. And that's... Yeah, yeah, it's it's not accurate. And mm, I, don't, I don't know about this. So I'm just gonna move on to the things I really care about. The face sculpt. The face sculpt itself actually looks amazing. I love all the detail in his face, like you have the, the kind of split chin and some wrinkles on it because he's like an old rugged asshole and then he has the bat wings which are soft plastic they are huge yes but that's how he really looked in the Jim Lee uh, style it, it of course it sometimes looks a little bit different especially if you're looking at the cartoon but I, I look at the original comic book design especially like the stuff that was on the box let's see if we can find anything you have like that you know maybe it's a little bit exaggerated but it really depends really depends on like the the comic book covers and whatnot but it is supposed to be pretty big so i don't hate it but uh, oh, 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 so first of all there's a little bit of paint bleeding there's a little bit of black on his nose it's not the worst thing in the world because as we move on you will see also is it just me or is the right shoulder pad a little bit darker than the left one seriously seriously has a nice metallic paint job, but unfortunately, yeah, I mean, the tips, sometimes they don't just line up, sometimes they aren't really finished. This is just ugly, uh, unforgivable. In the back, kind of goes on, this one goes over the line, and it's just, it's just, the, these aren't even, you're not even trying here, these aren't even lined up. And you might be saying, well, it, it's small. And I'm, I'm gonna drop this right here. Usually I, I keep that for the end. I Usually I keep that for the final thoughts. But I guess, keep in mind guys, Malfax figures are expensive. This figure costs 70 bucks from Japan. But I don't live in Japan, so I have to add shipping. I have to add customs. And this guy can go up to like 100 bucks or even more, depending on how you are or and depending how you know, scummy your customs are. They are pretty scummy around here, let me tell you that. Then we go down to the belt, you have the X, which is clean, I guess, for the most part. But another thing that really bothers me are the gloves. Like, once again, they aren't really clean, and it looks like, now, uh, I can't even tell. Like, on this side, it looks like they made a very, very subtle line where the glove should end. But you can barely see it, and on this side, it, it doesn't even line up. Now, the main problem I have with this one, I, I think the line shouldn't be so subtle. I think you should see the line, I think you should feel the line, but I barely do that. This is like Marvel Legends crap. And Marvel Legends is like 25. I'm not calling Marvel Legends crap, but this is one of the things. You have to mold that if I'm paying that much money, okay? Otherwise, I'll just buy a Marvel Legends and I don't care about it. So, yeah, you have hair that's molded on his arm. Not mold it, paint it. I don't, you don't have to mold that one, okay? I'll give you that one. Also, it's just me or this hat pretty big. It might just be because of the bat wings. But it seems like, you know, it's just, it's it's as big almost as one of his chest muscles. Like, just the hat. Let's take the bat wings away and just, ah, I don't know. Now, the muscle work is super detailed and very nice. Yeah, there's not just bad things about it. I mean, the mold overall, I don't hate it. It's like super muscular like the 90s X-Men really looked. He even has a bulge. It's bulge time! No? No, okay. Also has a butt and the thighs, bruh. 
Do we have fives like that? No, nobody has fives. I mean, he's a mutant. We can't. We can't have fives like that. We're just people. We're just regular human beings. As I go down to the boots with... Uh, there's a blue spot on the black. Good job. I mean, the boots, the boots, I guess, are the cleanest as far as paint job goes. Oh, there's a black spot in the back. Awesome. We got a blue in the front and a black in the back. It's like a yin and yang thing. We screwed up in the front, so we have to screw up somewhere else. But, uh... Yeah, that's, that's the rant of the paint. So with that out of the way, how does it fare in articulation? Well, the head was already garbage. This is it. Has some wiggle motion. I don't really know. It, it goes up like that, and it goes down like that, and it does go off. Yay. So once again, the ball pack seems to be way too tightly in there. Goes side to side, and that's, that's really it. It's really the neck articulation. You all only basically have neck articulation. And you can do some stuff with that, at least. Goes to the back, rotates side to side. So that's pretty cool, right guys? Just like, wow. The shoulder pads are packed in in the back so you can move those freely. Move it up and down. I think it's on ball packs. Yeah, it's just kind of like a figure arts. Then you have this entire piece, which covers up the articulation nicely, but... Uh, it's yellow and it has a stripes on it. Now, uh, in theory, this sounds good, right? You just line up the stripes and it looks clean, but sometimes it's just impossible. It's near impossible. It is soft plastic, so you can rotate it around, but it's it's a chore, and I don't I don't want to have a chore, all right? I'm getting lazy. Anyway, so, as a big ball hinge, I think it's kind of like Storm Collectibles. It goes to the back a lot, goes forward a lot, at least you got that, and then it goes off. Yeah, it's like Storm Collectibles. Exactly the same thing, you have a pack, ball pack that goes into the chest area and now I cannot reconnect it and then you got a big ball hit what the okay just moving right on moving that up so this is how the armor is assembled I thought I broke it off honestly my heart skipped a beat this is it what ah okay mm. right right moving right on goes up 45 degrees, maybe a little bit more, give a little bit of a push, let's not have the arm disassemble. I mean, he can regenerate. Maybe that's a feature. Ha 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 ha! Bicep swivel. Double hinged elbow, and the fist is on another ball hinge, that's classic stuff. But what the? What is this? Ah. Chest articulation. Now, uh, I tried around with it, I wiggled it around. So, it goes to the side, first it snapped, first it did nothing. I can get it to the side a little bit now. We're a forceful push. I, I almost thought I broke it. And then I heated it up. And what I'm getting out of it, I think, for whatever reason, they put a ratchet in it. Because... Did you hear the clicking? You have a ratchet joint in your chest. So, result, chest belly moves. And I don't... That, that was all I was getting on it. Let me try that again. And it just pulls back because I guess the ratchet says like no I don't I don't want to do it again. So this is great. You know, I li I love to put my Wolverines in like there we go. Put it straight. And that's about it. I'm not willing to try anymore. I already tried a lot. I feel like I heated up so much that the belt is kinda white now. I don't know. Maybe it was like that before. The belt is floaty, so you can bring that around. Got a soft plastic cross well not really soft-ish. On the tips, on the side, it's soft. You have one of these legs. Oh, by the way, the hip articulation is great. Yay! I guess that makes up for the uh, arti for the chest articulation. It just doesn't work. Also goes all the way around and does tilt side to side. Can make him dance. Awesome stuff. Kicks. Go forward. Has kind of like the weird butt mode sticking out. But let me see that. You can pull this down. No, it was actually up. Get some very nice kicks out of that. Goes out to the side and wow, to the side, forward. And barely to the back. A little bit at an angle because of the butt mode. But yeah, you can pull this up and down. Great stuff. Also, it's pretty loose. Is this like the... Uh, let me try and this is a little thing. Yeah. Is this like the Marfex special of having loose joints in the legs? So, he has been able to stand so far. But it's this is, again, let me see that. This is pretty easy to rotate. Has the double hinges. And the foot is on another ball hinge, goes back, forward, 
does tilt side to side and he does have a toe hinge and this is what I'm left with. Accessories! We got an angry gritting teeth face which uh, paint job on this one is a little bit weirder. It looks cool though, he got a regular face of uh, Wolvie, James, Logan, whatever. It looks kind of bluish, or is that just me? Also it's not lined up in the front on the hair. I mean the rest of it looks good. Then you have a mask, just a floppy mask. Just to hang around his neck. Oh, the paint bleeding on this one is exquisite. <laughs> wow. Got some open hands. Without claws. And then you got fist hands. With claws. Well, I can take the claws off by the looks of it. Let me not break them off. Let me see that again. No, this one doesn't. What? What, what is... Wait. You only have claws on these? And you have a base. 70 bucks. Plus shipping. Plus customs. Come on, bub. No. No, 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 no. This is, this is, this is bad. This is really... You have final thoughts? <sighs> um, let's see. The paint is sloppy. The articulation has issues. It is, overall, you can get into some cool poses. The mold's great. The head's a little, maybe a little bit overblown, but uh, don't buy this figure. Don't buy this figure, cause this is not. This is this is barely worth half the price. Like if this is forty bucks, ah, uh, I guess that would be okay. But this is not forty bucks. Again, this is seventy plus shipping plus customs, so it's more like ninety. Or a hundred. So at in that regard, no freaking way is this okay. Uh, he also he has barely any accessories, and I don't know. It looks like the the claws are were supposed to be removable. It looks like that, but they were like, screw it. We're just gonna do this one more hand, and we're not gonna bother even doing a removable claw feature because we only have fist hands. You have two fist hands, one with claws and one without claws, and then you have these, these open hands, and that's it. What? No. No. That's it. I'm done. No. No. Don't buy this figure. That's gonna do it. Um, if you enjoyed this review, the me suffering, my suffering, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, so you can stay tuned for my favorite card game stuff, and whatever this trash wants. I'm not even gonna bother zooming in. This is This is bad. This is bad. What does it want? Like, everything. Everything. It wants everything. At a reasonable price. This is... Malfax, you're not making any friends right now. Okay? Get the frick out of here.